Ladies and gentle gamers, welcome back to To Be Determined. In today's video, I did a ton of Blaze Slayer, like a ton. And I rolled every single dice I dropped. So if you guys enjoy me gambling, make sure to smash the like and subscribe button because I don't. As of me recording this, we are 50 subs away from 10,000. So if we haven't hit 10,000 yet, make sure to smash the sub button to be pre five digits gang. And let's jump straight into it. We just got our snowman to level 100, finally. That is like the most random pet to get to level 100, but you know, we'll roll with it. So to actually claim the XP for that, we do got to claim all our pets back. So again, we're currently 43% to level 391, and now we're 46%. So three free Skybuck XP, we'll take it. All right, we just dropped our second Pesterminator book. So we can now get Pesterminator 3 on the chest plate. So that's what we're going to do. Boom, boom. And Pesterminator level 3. GG. All right, so I've killed a lot of mushroom cows. So naturally, I have enough to make a lot of these. We've already made a decent amount. And uh, we'll make one more. So we had enough to make 11. So let's see how we did. I do have... I, I forgot to hold on the last one, my day axe. But I held day axe... For everything else and we've got our black cat so we currently have 136 pet luck but let's see how we did so first one was legendary legendary epic legendary epic legendary okay another legendary epic epic legendary epic okay so we got one two three four five six out of eleven so the majority were legendary compared to being un or uh, epic so we definitely made money here 100% GG. I think we spent about 15 mil on eggs and mycelium for these and like literally two legendaries covers that. So um, basically we made like 35, 40 million off of this GG. Oh no. Oh no. We dropped a high class. I guess I know what I'm doing next stream. We'll see how that goes. Ladies and gentle gamers, I have just finished a pretty crazy grind. We have done 17 plus hours of Blaze Tier 4s. I average at this current time about 10,000 XP per hour, which I won't lie is pretty horrible. That's like 16 bosses per hour, so about 3 to 4 minutes her boss between spawning and killing, which is pretty rough. You know, at the start, I did take advantage of the one shot that I made a video on, which I really didn't take that much advantage of it. We had a pretty bad party, which wasn't anyone's fault. They had all eaten the cakes, so they had ferocity, so we kept having to reset. So realistically, it was about the same pace as I go right now doing it solo, but I wanted to go over everything that we made. So realistically, what we're about to go over is about 15 hours worth because the first two hours I was pretty much just insta selling things. And then I realized there's a one shot method. So all the prices on everything were absolutely atrocious. So I saved everything up and we're going to go over how much it's worth right now. So about 15 hours worth is in these chests and so the mana disintegrators are worth about 300k each so we'll put those to the side first i dropped more than the ones i have in here but i actually reinvested them into this warning flare which i did buy to assist us a little bit it gives a nice amount of true defense which is the main reason that i needed it so it does help out quite a bit plus it stays up for three minutes which is a really big deal not having to throw down an overflux every middle of the fight was a very nice help but yeah this all together is about two million coins somewhere around there a little over two million but you can see we have a ton of gabagool distill it a ton of scorch books fire aspect bundles of magma arrows which the magma arrows are we'll say two mil so we've got four mil on this top row in total and then we also have a ton more scorched power crystals i've dropped about 12 of those it seems so that's a pretty good amount but we're currently at two mil plus 77.8 million so four mil actually plus this is 82 million so that's pretty nice then we can grab all the power crystals i won't sell these because i will use these whenever i fuel my minions but these are worth 20 million so we're currently at 102 million i'll throw all these in here and then we've got all of the duplex books we'll do those first which I dropped a surprising amount of fire aspects. I did drop one single smoldering book, which is not much, but you know, it's enough. And so we did drop seven duplex books, 
which is pretty decent, pretty decent. Another 35 mil on top of that. That's 137 mil. We've got all these scorched books. We'll do those next, which is eight mil. So 145 million plus some netherwort distillate, which I did also sell a lot of distillates just straight to NPC. So we can probably add a couple mil from that. We'll just say we're at 150 mil from all those because I dropped a ton of distillates. And yeah, it's actually uh, almost worth more for me to just insta sell these as well. Honestly, I'll just hold on to them because I do use these because they have the most likelihood to actually drop an apex. So we will use those. But we're currently at 150 mil. Then we'll add in the fire aspect book. And that is another 2 mil plus smoldering. So that's about 5 mil as well. So 155 mil in drops. But that's not all that we actually got because I did drop four regular dice, I believe it was. And I rolled all of them, which if I had sold them, that would have been an extra 20 mil. So I'm going to add that to our calculation. And uh, at the end of this, we'll figure out whether or not I actually made money from those rolls. Because I also dropped a high class, and we'll roll this here in a moment. But that's another 36 million. So 211 million coins at the moment. Plus, if we look at Derelict Ash, we have 53 million coins worth of that. Which, I'm just going to do it. Oh, that's a lot of money. I don't know. Maybe I'm better off actually making a sell offer for these. I'll probably do that because that will be a lot more money in the long run. But that should be if we sell off for those, that'll be about 70 and we'll say 60 mil. So 271 million coins divided by 15 hours is about 18 million coins an hour. So for Slayers, that is pretty good. Compared to mining and other things, you know, it's not anything too crazy. And again, I was using a Blaze Pet during the majority of this so we don't have the best magic find i get around 231 magic finds but you know if we did golden dragon with the axe swap i'd actually get like 260 at least so it's a bit more substantial there but currently my purse is pretty rotten <laughs> blazes cost a lot when you're saving everything up to sell later so but yeah this is going to make things a lot better for us 270 mil with more than double almost triple this bank so that's pretty good but i guess we should see if this is worth it so currently from the four dice that i've already rolled we are down 20 mil this atrox from that so i lost 20 mil from those dice one of them took me 61 rolls to actually get so it was it was pretty bad i'm not gonna lie it was pretty bad so hopefully we get good luck with this one i've been rolling it on top of the volcano we'll see if that works out for us but basically i need this to land on 100 mil and if it does that before we hit 64 million coins then we will have made money if it does it afterwards then i would have made more money by selling it to the auction house and if it does it after we've gone over 100 mil then we're just down so what we're gonna do i'm actually gonna go ahead and put 100 million coins in my purse if we roll it and we get the 100 mil before this purse hits 36 million coins then we have made money more than we would have from selling it to the auction house if we run out of money in this purse then we have lost money period so at the very least i hope we get it before we run out of money in the purse but roll number one this costs six million per and starting off with a one is not a good sign oh no two in a row we've got snake eyes oh my goodness we've got three ones four four ones in a row okay this is really bad that is six rolls total seven rolls total eight nine and that's our first five so basically we're gonna roll it right here we've already lost we have uh we have not made we have not made it back it would have been better to sell it to the auction house but we get it right here it's not too bad we did not if we roll this five more times and we don't get anything we are down horrendous but let's see one two oh let's go okay that is not too bad that is not too bad we l made 16 mil less than we would have if we sold it to the auction house but we still made 20 mil so that's pretty good that's pretty good i will take that that is not bad at all so basically we broke even throughout this whole thing. Not really. I'm kidding. It would have been nice to break even. We lost three, 36 million coins compared to selling it to the auction house. So we are down bad right now. We are down real bad. So do not 
roll your dice. Sell them to the auction house and let someone who's addicted to gambling roll them. It's just better that way. All right, boys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to smash that like and sub button if you did. Again, I appreciate it. And also, I do have a song coming out this Friday. So make sure to subscribe to my music channel. There's a link in the description. And it will be on all music stores and streaming platforms starting on Friday. So make sure to check it out then. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have an amazing rest of your day and God bless.